Hello, my name is James Meals. I'm the co-owner of Driven Gym along with my partner, Jean spider clairvoy here in Woodbridge, New Jersey. We started about two years ago, no, a little over two years ago, and um, started as a dream, really. We, I, I had some students from, from back in like 2005 when I first started teaching. I was 22 years old, I opened up my first gym in 2005. Um, the same year I got married, which is not necessarily the best idea because running a business and getting married the same year is, you know, your focus is all over the place and that doesn't really work so um, yeah I, we, we started about three years ago and um, brought a bunch of students back but really had nothing and then all of a sudden we just kind of blew up and now here we are today we moved once from a small facility up the street to this place doubled the size now we're just about to have to move again and it's going good it's going really good what type of programs uh, do you offer here we offer Muay Thai, that's, that's like our foundation, is Muay Thai, because my background is more Muay Thai than anything else, that's what I started with. Um, we offer Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, we have a couple of different guys here that, that are instructional. I teach myself, I'm a brown belt under, under Team Enzo Gracie, um, but now I'm under Tom DeBlas, so, uh, and we teach boxing, we have, we have a full, full program. As you said, under Tom, under Tom the Blast, the other day I saw a post from Tom talking about your school becoming like an affiliate. Yep. Um, talk a little bit about that, how that, how that all came about and, and what, what it's going to be. Well, I've known Tom for, geez, a really long time, um, over a decade now. Um, I've looked up to him from a fighter to you know, a regular person. He's just, he's just an all-around good guy and he's a phenomenal person to learn from. Um, so I saw the other day that he has an affiliation now, an association, and um, I'm not affiliated officially with anyone. I will always be part of Team Hanzo Gracie because that's you know where I started and that's where I'll finish. Finish. Um, Tom is as well. He's with Ricardo. Um, so I sent Tom a text and I said, "Would it be crazy if I said I wanted to be associated?" And he goes, "Bro, that'd be awesome." So it went from there to. I said, all right, sign me up, and that was it. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Uh, it's going to take our jiu-jitsu program to another level. You know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm planning to train with Tom a couple times, a couple times a week myself, just to see how he does things, and and um, it, it legitimizes our jiu-jitsu program. So, so w with you being an affiliate, what does that mean? Is it like he come, he come to he your school? He comes here. Or? He'll come here. I'm. I'm He'll probably help with the, the promotions. He'll come here and teach classes every now and then. Um, I'll get I'll be able to pick his brain, which is really really what I want because he's he's um, he's a genius when it comes to um, this stuff, you know, jujitsu, but also the business side of jujitsu. You know, um, his school is phenomenal. His school is doing so well, you know, and, and that's what I need. I need someone to mentor me. You know, I know my my Muay Thai program is. I have 170 students from from Muay Thai. My Jiu Jitsu program, not so much, you know. So, being associated with him is gonna help with that. You know? Now you do have a fight team here. You've got both amateur and pro fighters. Um, how many? About how many fighters do you have? And is there anybody that you're really looking, you know, is like a prospect that should be on, on people's radar? Yeah, absolutely. I have. I think we have about. Six, 16, 16 fighters now. Um, there's quite a few. I, I'm really excited about all of them, to be honest with you, because um, they're all hungry for for knowledge, hungry to learn. You know, um, I take them all over the place to spar, to you know. Um, but there's a couple that I'm really excited about. Um, Mike, Mike DeLuis is one of them. He um, he's like a sponge. You know, he's young, hungry. He's an athlete. You know, and. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about him. Excited about Natalie, Natalie Schlesinger, Little Nat. 
She's like a, a little pit bull. She's something to watch out for, 115 pounds. She wants to go to 105, but it's going to be hard to find her fights at 105. Um, yeah, a Sydney Outlaw comes here to train. You know, um, a lot of people come to train just to just to do their sparring here. Carl Roberson, he comes usually comes on Wednesday nights, comes and does the sparring here with us, and I'm good friends with him. Uh, yeah, but I'm I'm really honestly I'm excited about the whole team. Talk to me a little bit about yourself as a fighter. You uh, you started fighting quite a while ago. Back, yeah. Back before there was a lot of databases online, <laughs> with a lot of these sites. So talk a little bit about you know how you got into competitive. Uh, fighting um, martial arts and, and you know about your career martial arts martial arts I I got into as a kid you know um, started out in some traditional stuff ran into some some guys who were trained kickboxing and Muay Thai and um, and got lucky enough to, to to like leave the traditional side and go more to, to Thai and kickboxing side um, and that's where I stayed for for, uh, for quite some time I had my first my first amateur kickboxing fight, Muay Thai fight, when I was 13, 13 years. Um, fought a grown man. <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't, I mean, back then it was, it, I was doing it because it was fun, man. It was so much fun and, and uh, yeah, I, I, I don't even remember how many fights I have, to be honest. And that's as crazy as that sounds. Um, yeah. Because we did it, we, it was it was a generation that was like, hey, you want to fight? Okay, I'll fight. Let's go. And we didn't care, you know. Um, regrettably, in, in some ways, you know, I, I regret it in some ways because, you know, I could probably be in a little different situation if I focused more than instead of just taking fights and whatever, you know. Um, but I had fun. I learned a lot. That was the biggest thing. And, and I think with, with all that, that, that's how I found myself as a coach. Because it's all the experience I learned a lot through losses, through wins, through everything that was. I think that I found my spot in life as a coach, you know, um, from all that. But fighting was fun. I'll probably do it again just for fun too, because I, I like it. You know, I, I grew up in the streets. I um, I had a hard childhood. You know, I grew up in a poor neighborhood. Um, I was one of the only white kids in my block, so. You imagine I had to fight a little bit, and then from there I got into martial arts, and then obviously I started fighting. You've had some fights against notable <laughs> names. I mean, Dan Lozon, Ray L, Rich Clemente, Jason Black. Those are just a few. Is there Marla any? Jun, yeah. Is, it, is there is there any uh, fight that like? I know you had a lot of them, but is there any fight that stands out in your mind as like this is my most this is my favorite fight or this is my most memorable fight? Man. <laughs> uh, all those names really I was excited about all those names um, I liked the Hawaii the, I, I fought in Hawaii I fought Ronald Jones as a main event in a show called Chaos, Chaos Fighting Championships I think it was that was cool because I got to fight in Hawaii and um, I mean obviously it didn't come out, go out in my way you know but I learned from it you know I, I learned a little bit about myself and that was the most important part, but I, I think that that and Dan Lozon, the Dan Lozon fight, I, I would actually like to have that fight even in, to be honest. But we'll see. How did you go from the mindset of fighter to coach and to, to gym owner? Um, like, how, what was the process like? How did that all come about for you? I believe that everybody has a calling on their life. Um, I just fell into it. You know, I, 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 I was sitting back, honestly it started because I was sitting back with my wife one night and uh, and I was thinking about it, like I was like, you know, it'd be cool to teach and, and uh, open a gym. And then we, we prayed about it because I'm, you know, that's what I believe, I'm, I'm a Christian man and and um, I, know, I just felt like, like this is where I belong, like I belong as a coach, you know, this is what I'm good at. And I think that, um, that as crazy it might sound to some people, I was kind of led to this. You know, this is where I'm supposed to be.
last thing, um, is there any goal in mind for you um, as far as like gym wise or fighter wise with your fighters here? Uh, is there anything that you want to achieve, like say year, five years, ten years? Yeah, I mean, I already, I still coach I, I coach fighters outside of here. You know, I I work with Corey Anderson. Mm -hmm. I did his last few camps. Um, I work with Frank Perez. I was working with Caitlin. Um, Chicago and I did most of her camps too. Um, I don't really have a goal with the fighters, you know. I, I honestly, I love to watch people succeed. You know, I like to to help people do what they love to do. You know, um, it's fun to watch the fruits of your labor. You know, and, and, uh, yeah, I, I just like to share what I'm passionate about in, inside. You know? um, I guess. Uh, the icing on the cake is, is getting to go to the UFC and, uh, you know, enjoy, like, the backstage, you know, getting your fighter's name on your your uh, jersey, whatever you wear, you know. That's all cool. Um, for me personally, my goal is to do this full-time, you know. Um, I don't do it full-time yet. I have a full-time job that I work overnight, so I come here, I teach, and then I go to work full-time at night, and then I go home in the morning, get a few hours, like, usually about three hours of sleep, and then spend some time with my wife and my daughter, and then do it all over again. I'm a little nuts, you know, but with a goal in mind, like I said, I want to do it full-time, I, I want to do this full-time, but God has a timing for everything, you know? so, we'll see what happens.